So, I know we're talking about Wonder Woman 1984 of the uh, thing of Steve Trevor being in some other guy's body and there possibly being Wonder Woman raping a guy, but there was a recording error in the movie that could be fixed later on, but in the HBO cut, or in the theatrical version, this error is still there. The whole premise of uh, Steve being in this guy's body is that the rest of the world still sees that other guy. But when you look at the Smithsonian, when he's touching the plane, you see Chris Pine's reflection, you don't see the other guy. I'll show you this real quick, and yes, I do have this stupid film on my Plex server because I recorded it off of HBO. I just screen recorded it the same way I got the uh, Fantastic Four director's cut and Aragon director's cut. See, so yeah, he sees himself in the mirror and it's not him, it's handsome guy. A few seconds to actually buffer because that happens. Because you can't actually screen trap off HBO Max with a phone. You can do it on a computer though for some reason. I don't have my computer, but watch this. Watch the reflection. It's Chris Pine, it's not the other guy. So, there was a goof. Now, let's get into how I would fix Wonder Woman 2. Because I did this for Wonder Woman 1. Uh, actually, I did it on Instagram, but I can do it after this. The main problem with this movie a lot of people have is the ending. And Steve, how he was handled. Well, with the uh, Rock and Max being magic... They could have had the actual Steve Trevor body be magically pulled back together and pulled into this time period. Like seconds before his plane blew up, boom, he's pulled in 1984 right there in front of Diana or in her apartment or whatever. And then you actually have Steve Trevor in the flesh, his body. Everybody knows who he is. Everybody can see who he is. And that would have handled the whole problem with the passport because handsome man may have a passport. If he's handsome man, maybe he's a model or something. And models have passports. They can fly around the world and have their pictures taken in pretty places. So, now that fixes that problem of Steve. Now let's fix the end. Where the fight scene happens, Steve grabs on to Max, and since he has never wished, he wishes that none of it had ever happened. And boom, everything, and he trades his life for that, letting Max continue to live with his child, and there not being any power, and him having no powers, Steve being dead, the world being reversed back to the way it was so that it doesn't screw the continuity of the DCEU that happened so far with, like, Justice League and Aquaman and Batman vs. Superman and Man of Steel and Shazam and Suicide Squad. All the stuff, all stuff obviously comes after Wonder Woman 84, and since all this magic shit happened in Wonder Woman in 1984, obviously Superman wouldn't have been that big of a surprise to them in Man of Steel in 2014. So that would have fixed that. So let's get into how I would have fixed the original Wonder Woman. I do not like the big battle at the end that everybody else loves with the uh, God. I, I would keep it just Hitler guy. Does not the Nazi, not the uh, guy who was on the side of England. They make the Nazi guy the god of war. And I would have put it on Christmas, during the Christmas truce. Wonder Woman defeats him, starts passing out. Steve runs up to her, you did it, Diana. You, you brought peace to the world, blah, 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 blah. She wakes up, and whoops. It, wasn't, it was just a Christmas truce. But the war, the war is actually over, but it continued on after a couple of months for a couple, for another year or so, and that was just the Christmas truce that happened. It was a rare occasion. We don't know how it happened, and it could be the magic of the lasso or whatever. The magic from Theniskira helped free the people from the evil in that area, but the rest of the world was still so engulfed in evil that they couldn't stop until that finally ended. It took time for it to end. So, thanks for watching. Probably didn't, but whatever. See you next time. Probably not, but whatever.